Hey Virgo, Empress 777 here today with the general singles reading for January. Guys, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've given thus far. I'm just going to cleanse our area. If you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. Holy Angels and Spirit Guides give me clear and concise messages for my Virgo singles. Let's see what we have coming towards us. What we may need to focus on so that we're sure that whatever it is that we're trying to manifest and call in is on its way already, right? <laughs> um, all right, so let's take a look. Keep in mind, readings are general, right? So take what resonates, leave the rest. Put yourself where you belong in the story. All right. As time and energy is fluid. Also, let's see here. Got from my Virgo singles. You guys fed up with being single? <laughs> Let's see what's coming. Let's see what's in your energy. Okay. Keep an open mind. Okay. So that's my card for if you if you normally have a type that you gravitate towards, do your research. Okay. So that's about not really relying on potential, right? Making sure that you're vetting people. I think that you are. I think that you are, I don't know if you're keeping an open mind, but I do think that you are currently trying to vet people properly because you're tired of wasting your time. That's what I heard. Yeah. Your time is precious at this time. All right. So we have dates. Okay. So this just came out. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? <laughs> Wow. Same exact cards. Another sad love song. All right. So somebody may have hurt you guys. Pass um, is back to see if you're down for another round. I, I literally just got these same three cards for Capricorn's singles reading. So you could be dealing with one of those where they, the person who wants to make a return has that somewhere within their birth chart. Definitely. Um, I think they're coming back to try and convince you to keep an open mind. Now, this is a singles read. We typically want to look at what's coming towards us um, that's new. All right. I do think that you're going to, you either began putting yourself back out there, okay, because we do have the dates card, or you're contemplating doing that. So... While I do think that you guys are single, I think that somebody is trying to hurry up and make a return before it's too late. That kind of energy. Ah, oh, the past. Why doesn't the past just want to leave us the F alone sometimes, right? Yeah, so this is somebody who you definitely feel like you wasted your time with, Virgo, okay? They were wearing you out. Like, you're just like, pause. You know, you, you had to pause the whole connection. You may have just completely walked away from this person. We have the Nine of Wands. So that's the Wounded Warrior. That's giving things a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth try and to no avail, right? So at that point, you now feel like, what exactly have I grown here? I mean, what exactly am I doing here? Why am I still even doing this? I definitely feel that. Yeah. So keep an open mind. Mm, you may be keeping an open mind about actually moving forward, right? Especially if this is somebody who you have history with. Maybe hard to walk away from them. Yeah. So we got the Six of Swords that's popped out. Yeah. And the Eight of Cups. I think you are so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So got the Judgment card, okay? And two Walking Away cards. So... My intuition can only tell me one thing about this Virgo, that you are like done, 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 okay? Like done is not even the word. Like if this person resurfaces, you may not even have the same number. You may not have the same. So you may have taken yourself off the of social media because I do get the feeling that they're kind of watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. Um, especially if they get the feeling that you're getting ready to put yourself back out there, you made that final judgment call to really walk away from this. I think this do your research card with all of these walking away cards and this final decision was you looking at the scope of things, realizing what you were putting yourself through and that this person will possibly never change. So you had to change yourself. You had to change the situation for you by removing yourself. Yep. You took control. You took control. You could be dealing with an Aries, okay? We also have 
um another earth sign so a virgo like yourself a taurus or a capricorn and we have fire sag aries leo there are a lot of major arcana so far with just a little bit of cards that have popped out so i do feel like you have gone through a lot of major shifts in reference to this person shaking things up in your life it's almost like what was the point like is this really worth it anymore is fighting for this really worth like my sanity like my time like my energy my money my effort is it worth it and you may have come to the ultimate decision that it's not okay um we do have this dates card. You may really be strongly considering that your person or your your actual divine counterpart is elsewhere and you possibly thought that this was the person. Yep. Wow. Two of Cups popped out along with the Ten of Wands. So you held on to this connection. I feel like it was one that was very heavy. Okay. Extremely burdensome. This person... They want to come back for another shot, Virgo. I don't know. I feel like you've gone through. We have several cards that signify cycles. So you've been through several cycles with this person already. And it just, they may have just come to the end of the road, right? You know, I hear boys to men. <laughs> now that we've come to the end of the road, you want this. And you thought that they were that. You thought that they were going to bring that equal give and take, that ultimate love, somebody who you could actually see things growing with. And now look how this person is just kind of looking at what all of their energy, their time, their money, their effort has gone into. It's just not quite adding up to how much you put in. Okay, you don't feel like you're getting a return on your investment. So this is what you feel like you got. It's heavy. I think that you're, the 10 is the end. That's the end. So, I mean, it's free will, but if this person is coming back around, I think that you have already checked out. I mean, that's just me being honest. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I do feel that. They want another chance. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, they view you as somebody who is extremely financially stable. This may be somebody who just likes to feed off of your energy, Virgo. I'm not even lying. All right, with this Ten of Wands, that is exerting all of your energy, exerting all of your resources on one source. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. That's what I hear. It's too much. It's just too much. And there's so much more potential out there. I think that you're no longer dating potential. Like the person who comes towards you next has to either be exactly what they need to be or we're done. Right? Or we're not even moving further. You may have dated this person off of the potential that you saw, okay? And look, I'm going to say time and time again, when it comes to potential, yeah, it's all fine and great until you realize that the person who you see the potential in doesn't even see their own potential. So guess where, guess where things are going? Nowhere, fast, right? So literally wasting your time. I feel like you definitely feel like that now. You put the brakes on this whole situation. They want to come back for another cycle, okay? I feel like this person is addicted to your energy. They may be an energy vampire, like a vulture, all right? You're king of pentacles, all right? So you hold all the abundance. You hold all of the, um, the security. This person may feel insecure without you. And that means on all levels, okay? Emotionally, financially, you know, mentally. They may be a little bit mentally unstable, guys. I don't know. Because to me, with all of these walking away cards and with this ten of ten of wands, there's no way in hell. It went from the nine to the ten of wands. There's no way that they don't know the effect that they're having on you. I definitely feel like you spoke your truth to this person. You know that they know that you feel like they're a toxic vulture to your energy. And this is why things are over, yet they're still coming back. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be up to you guys. Let's just get a few cards of advice from Spirit. Let's see. What does Virgo need to focus on to be sure they are calling in exactly what they want? Wow, I just wanted two cards. Yeah, this person is definitely stuck, guys, okay? But you're going to be receiving justice for giving so much into that person. You are. They're stuck stuck. They may be watching you. This person may be a little bit addicted to you, okay? I get stalker vibes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Virgo. I'm just saying, Okay? You're gonna get your you're gonna you're gonna get your justice though. All right. So for those of you who decide to stay single, 
I do see like the biggest offer yet coming. That's Ace of Cups, okay? Look how huge that gem is. I love these cards, they're so beautiful. But the cups are emotions. And this card, they're signified by pearls, okay? That is a very significant offer. That is what you want. That is the justice that will be bought to you for exerting everything you had on somebody who gave you nothing, right? All right, so that's what I have, Virgo. Let me know if this has resonated, guys. Click that like button, click the subscribe button. We will reconvene next time. Bye.